Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. Uh, today was a really hard day. It was not a really easy day. Uh, if we, uh, on uh, the other channel, uh, we go live, we pinpoint exactly the bottom of the market and uh, we said there is no long and uh, then the market went right back into where it started this morning so there is not much really happening in the market which we have predicted on the other channel live and uh, we said there is nothing left uh, so but b despite all this we did very well uh, if we really look in at the market movement, there is not much done and uh, there is not much trending in the market and we did very well. Uh, now, if you notice, we have the a new signal start coming up on the market analyzer. On the market analyzer, we have five different automated trades and uh, it's all based on the signal and then the uh, here is is all fibs actually uh, with the signal and then what is nice about this this is coming directly from the market analyzer uh does your trend stop is is not a, just a dummy trading stop it's, it's based on fibs but also you have the advantage you can also uh, if you want to if you want to do this with a normal auto trade it's not gonna let me try to find if we can find one opening position okay uh, let me take one of the normal auto trade if we are taking let's say this auto trade on the CL on the BBT trend bar if you wanted to secure it like this you cannot it goes back the only way you can secure uh, or you want to take a profit you go on the top here a close position or you can initiate um, an order by yourself and then you can take it down as much as you can but this will deactivate the auto trade remember that or if you think the market is bottom up or if you have to go or leave you can you have a button on the top you say close position and position closed on 2970 on the cl what is nice about this you can extend the target if you want to you can go back you can put it anywhere and then and does not require any optimization and this is coming from the signal so as an example Uh, this one here on two minutes the market analyzer is on a different time frame but uh, this is a really uh, also uh, there is signals coming in on the chart uh, tells you if you wanted to add uh, trades or you want to take a manual trades and when it says ends this mean close the trade and then you have another signal long short and which <laughs> those use uh, those uh, signal uh, we use actually uh, we manage some trades and we use it really on on the Bitcoin actually those signals they are extremely good as an example if we take the Bitcoin we had the sell signal at uh, I'm not uh, Twitter uh, I mean you're either a trade and technical or uh, I don't uh, take a judgment based on rumors. Uh, f you're either technical or fundamental. Uh, I look at the Bitcoin on the technical side, not on the rumors and Twitter and all this nonsense. So if we look here, those signals here, we had a sell at 29. It was a perfect signal. And, and, and look what happened. And here it says go long. And here it is from long to short and this is I'm talking for manual trader but not uh, for an automated trading person but uh, the signals are extremely good those are the same signal 
they are working extremely accuracy on uh, the Bitcoin and all this. The same thing is working in the future market. And it's saying here, go back and a double short on the CL is right there. And you can see, and it's the system calculate for every trade where most likely the target, the, the targets is not fixed like uh, this uh, normal auto trade 20 ticks or 30 ticks. It depends on the market movement. So despite all this trouble in the market today, uh, we did very well uh, on the NASDAQ 300 ticks. We got 3,000 one straight shot. Uh, on the ES 600 ticks, we got 2,700. On the CL7 range, uh, we got uh, 2,580. And then if we stayed on those trades, we would have got much more, maybe double the amount if we continue. But when uh, uh, our daily target is 1,000, and if the market go into your favor, it's going to stay on that trade. And then on the YM9 range, we got 2100. On the YM7 range, 2340. Lately, the YM has been moving much better than the NASDAQ, believe it or not. On the YM10 range, it was 1950, 15. And then on the ES4 range, uh, 2900. And all of them those for the morning session, uh, the NASDAQ 400 ticks, 2800, and the ES5 range got 1900, and the NASDAQ 1 minute, uh, this is 2100, and the CL6 range got 23, and then the YM again, uh, 2000, and the CL5 range, uh, 2500. So, uh, those signals uh, right now, they are in order and that will be uh, coming uh, the target. And if we look at the, we got the sell entry and is immediately, this is where today we, uh, the market bottom up when we were on the live a channel on the other side and is coming right back into it and there is a heavy support area here uh, it's not after that once we hit this area here uh, the market is no longer tradable folks that's all what we have for you today uh, we look forward to see you tomorrow we wish you pleasant on the other channel live uh, we wish you pleasant evening bye for now